the world. Welcome back to the Unchristian Podcast. Once again, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for listening, for watching on YouTube, for uh, listening on wherever you access your podcast, whether you're on Apple Music, Spotify, or wherever you are. We really appreciate uh, you joining us always for this uh, episode. How are you doing, Nandi? I'm doing great. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to today's uh, topic. Yeah. And I have a new mic. I don't know if you guys can see yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's got pink. a new mic. Pink. <laughs> And for some reason, you decided to match with it, <laughs> unplanned. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Nice. <laughs> now I feel like I'm in my element. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, uh, with podcasting, there's just so much equipment that's needed mm -hmm. from a technical point of view. But we are doing the best with what we have. And, man, I like that mic. It's really, it's sexy. It's cute. Mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, man. Today, which direction are we going? Well, today we are talking about um, effective co-parenting. Mm, big one. Yeah, it's affecting a whole lot of, of us. Yeah. Us as well here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And therefore, we just want to share um, from experience as well, as well as uh, talk to other parents on how best they can co-parent with mm, their mm. With exes. Uh, a hot potato. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it <laughs> is. We will be sharing from our own personal experience what has been working for us. And I, I hope you guys learn. I hope you learn yeah. and you parent those kids effectively the yeah. best way you can. And remember, there is no blanket formula that is right for yeah. everybody, for every family in all situations. And I realize that situations are different. Children mm. are different. Mm. Relationships between parents, the two parents. Uh, are also different circumstances are different mm. and so we are not here to attempt to tell you what's right to do but although we will share wisdom uh, but this is more about opening up a conversation and that's what we do with all our episodes yes to open up a conversation you know uh, first of all Nandi what can we define or how can we define co-parenting what is it all right. What do you think? <laughs> it, it, is, it is when two parents um, take equal responsibility of, mm. of their child. Mm. Yes. For me, yeah. that's what it is. Um, yeah. The best way is to be open, communicate, mm. and just be there as parents for the child and realizing yeah. that they, the number one priority is that of, of their child or yeah. their kids' needs. Yeah. That is what effective co-parenting is for me. And what yeah, about yeah. you? Um, co-parenting is collaborative. Yes. It, it, it's, it's really about working together. Now, you've got a situation where you are separated or divorced and uh, you've got children. Mm -hmm. But also, this could apply for parents who were not married. Yes. You know, I had a child, were not married, but then you broke up. So you're not together, but what... He, <sighs> The, another model of parenting, which looks like co-parenting but is not co-parenting, is, is what is called parallel parenting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where in co-parenting, you do everything to communicate effectively with your ex mm -hmm. and you do things together with the children. You've got one vision. You align your styles of uh, parenting. You align your styles of discipline. You spend time with the kids also together. But in parallel parenting, it's just about uh, you, you are the parent, you're the mother, mm -hmm. I am the father. Mm -hmm. When the child comes to me, they live a different world and they live in a different world when they're with you. Mm -hmm. That's just parallel parenting. Um, so they, when they visit mommy or daddy, mm -hmm. the rules don't have to be the same. Okay. Their time is different. Mm -hmm. uh, even religions in the home mm. spirituality is different also um the way of doing education and homework and all of that is also different. It's different doesn't that confuse the child definitely mm. i think that confuses the children mm. but it this style of parenting mm. comes into play when the two parents um are, um are not civil to each other okay when they are not able to communicate, to communicate effectively. Mm. And so to limit those moments of conflict, you just collect the child and do what you do, and I do what I do. Mm. 
we can discuss bills and all of that. But in parallel parenting, you do what I do, I do what I do. And yes, the child gets confused because children need structure, right? Yes, they do. They do. Even when you even when the two parents are apart. Yeah. Um, which is why it's important that yeah. we should uh, talk about uh, effective uh, co-parenting. Yeah. So that we can help each other grow kids that are, are strong emotionally, mentally, and that are just ready and prepared for the world. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Um, my challenge with the church in this area is that the church still, even to, in today's society, when it comes to family, they still only recognize the family model or that is called the nuclear family. Yes. Mom, uh, dad, children. The same household. In the same household. Mm. But now, statistically, in South Africa, and I don't know about the rest of the world, that is not the reality on the ground. Mm, it's not. And we do a disservice to parents who are in our churches and we, we, we can't help and love them. Right, because we first of all we don't even recognize their setup as a family. Mm. The reality of the matter is that it's the child that should take priority oh, yeah. in, in all the decisions that we make. Oh, yeah. We may be apart, we may have divorced, we may have never even been a couple. But if there's yeah. a child involved, uh, that is a, a life of its own, yeah. and we need to nurture it the best way we can. Yep. And effective co-parenting comes to play in yeah. this in this instance yeah yeah and i i think we can share um how best one can be an effective uh part parent yeah co-parent yeah yeah in, in this case um what has been your experience yeah in, in 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 a situation where you do not you are no longer with the father or the mother of mm. your kids yeah, yeah and the kids you share them amongst each other sometimes they are with you yeah. sometimes they are with the mother yeah um how how does that come to play sure you know um you said something important just now about this can only work if we understand that the children are the most important element here Absolutely. and what are our unresolved issues maybe or what are the issues of disagreement this can only work mm. if we realize that it's not about me here mm. it is about what's best for the children, children. we gotta keep the children central right mm. and in my case the primary caregiver that's what they call them in the legal term the primary caregiver is is their mom my ex and they live with her primarily i mean that means uh their clothes are there they are, i mean everything all their belongings are there and mm. um, then i get parental access okay to be a parent when they come to me on weekends and on school holidays mm -hmm. right um, I don't get I don't uh, get them on all weekends. I get them most weekends and on most holidays. Uh, they still need to spend time with mommy, uh, but also I do also need time for work and other things as well. So it's not every weekend, mm -hmm. uh, but that is the that's my setup. Uh, that's my setup. Um, you know, even legally, I know particularly in South Africa, the legal system does not like to separate children mm. initially. That's what I thought maybe would be the best scenario. Because, man, I love my kids so much. Like, so you, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, they were just here um, about two days ago. Mm -hmm. They were just here. But, oh, man, I miss them so much right now. Yeah. yeah. Especially when, when you used to be with them yeah. all the time. Uh, I think that, that has been, for me, the most difficult part about my divorce. Yeah. Abandon. Yeah. Not being able to live with them and experience time with them the way I used to hey, yeah. it's not easy yeah in, in my experience I've, I've experienced um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll speak about Ulili yeah. uh, my daughter Ulili Lomdala ne? yes she's 10 10 years old yeah. when we divorced she was I'll say 2 mm. in fact when we separated she was 2 yeah. mm. it doesn't matter when that mm. Mm. was and she has been she stayed with me um till last year okay and it was only beginning of this year and mm. he, her father would get her during school holidays all right i was in another province and he is in another sure, province sure. and therefore he would get him during school holidays yeah 
And for the first time this year, uh, for reasons of personal development, sure. we spoke, me and her father, and we decided that this year he can take her mm. um, and I get to see her on holiday. So it, it has been now that it's, it's change. Opposite now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's that been for you as a it, mom? Sorry it, to, it, to cut you in. Yeah. <laughs> It's 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 one of the most difficult things, Mdase. It's, it's one of the most difficult things when you cannot see your child as often as you would like. Yeah. Um, when every time you see her after three months and she's grown taller, yeah. she, she's experiencing life, especially yeah. a, a girl child, yeah. you want her to be with you. As However, mom, you know, mm. having uh, technology, it helps yeah, because know, you yeah. get to, we get to video call yes. almost daily. We yes, talk every yes, day. Yes. She updates me, and I actually saw the positive out of that. Nah, uh, yeah, nah, nah. I actually saw the positive out of that because now I don't get to be much of the discipline. What? Uh, Disciplinarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live on camera. Who <laughs> will will betray you? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, so. Now, whenever she's with me, yeah. uh, it's more fun. Something that I wanted yeah. when he, when the, the roles were changed, the, the last, um, how many years? Hey, that's, the, that's the other thing we need to talk about. Seven ah, years. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I had to be, she, he was the fun parent because he only got to have her <laughs> just for two weeks or so just June holidays. Yeah. Now I get to have it only during those times. Yeah. And it's, it's, I, I look at it from yeah. a positive perspective yeah, and yeah. I try and magnify that more often. Yeah. And we have our girl talks and our yeah. fun. Yeah. Now I'm in TikTok because of her. <laughs> and when we yeah. talk on video, she's like, mommy, 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 she'll send me something on WhatsApp. Yeah. There's this uh, trend on, on TikTok. Let's do this. One. In fact, I love TikTok even more than her. She'll oh, be like, wow. mommy, don't forget you're the mom and I'm the child. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. That's so cute. <laughs> so, so I see now there's things that we do together that yeah. we never did before yeah. because it was always about uh, homework, school, this, yeah. this, this, this. Yeah. We still do that now, sure. but it's not as hectic as it used to be when yeah. uh, she stayed with me full yeah. time. Before we get into your the setup about your 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 other child, yeah, uh, you you brought up something here uh, how the dynamics are between the parent who is the primary caregiver, yes, versus the parent who's sec I'll say secondary caregiver. And by the way, um, no one is more important. Yeah. Not one parent is more important here. It just happens. Yes. And they they sort of, we can say, it's, I don't like that word visit because mm -hmm. when they come to me, it's their home as well. They're not visiting, but when they come to me. They're coming home. They're coming home this side. My dynamics are fun because now the priority of mama mm -hmm. is feeding them. Of course, we both feed them, but... Uh, she gets them for like five days, right? There's homework. Mm. There's a routine yeah, after school. Mm. She wakes them up. She has to make sure they're ready for school and, mm. and all of that. And uh, she gets to, um, she gets, she has a, a more opportunity mm -hmm. to discipline them. Yes. Because they are with her most of the time. Mm. Now, when they come to me, they want to have fun. Yes. <laughs> now, it, it it can be a bit unfair mm. on mommy, yeah, because it looks like mommy doesn't want us to have fun. But mm. mommy's got other responsibilities that are more important than having fun. That right? was me the last yeah, seven well, years. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm now it's the I'm other like, way. Around. Yeah. Now they want to have fun. Now they want they want McDonald's every time they come here. They want ice cream. They want to go here and there. It's not that mommy is not a fun person. She does those things as well, but. Mm the demand on her time leans more to more of the structural stuff and, yes. and, and the, the more important things. Mm. And now you can get, it touches now on discipline. Mm. Now, if we are not careful, the kids can think that they can get away with anything with daddy. Mm. Yes. But also, I was talking to someone uh, about this, this topic over the weekend and they were like, don't fall into the trap of not executing a discipline because you feel guilty. Mm. That one. Mm. Mm. So now to overcompensate the fact that they are not with you all the time, mm. don't fall into the trap of uh, 
just letting everything go because you feel guilty. And guilt is such an important reality. It is. In parenting. It, it is. It is. Um, and I, I still have not yet figured out how I can mm. not be. Because sometimes you're not even aware of, of that. Of it, yeah. Uh, when Lily is here for those two weeks or for mm. that month, it is all fun. We Eesh. are just having fun. Eesh. We are just having fun. I'm telling myself, I just want my child to experience um, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I'm just making sure that she has got memories mm. uh, of herself with her mom and yeah. having fun. Because I also know the importance of, of how they imprint themselves, these yeah. memories in, yeah. in her mind. Yeah. However, it does has a, a, an impact in how you discipline because yes. you become softer you become softer and without even knowing without it and even re knowing. realizing it. And yeah. that is where effective communication comes yes, in because yes. now um, when she is with me, mm. she, 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 I think she, she forgets sometimes, say, oh, maybe you are more fun. And that is mm. where now I have to make her aware that yeah. it's not like Papa is not yeah. uh, a fun yeah, you person. You have to protect him too. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, thank you, thank mm. you. I think we're even mentioning now yeah. um, the different ways of being an effective co-parent. Exactly. And um, one of them is exactly this, mm. where you must protect the other the parent. Other. Yeah. You, there should never be a time when you speak ill never. of um, the other parent of your never. child. And never. And it, it, it matters not how you divorced or uh, yeah. uh, how you separated yeah. it, it matters not because for a child the importance of the relationship that he or she has with yeah. you is is equally important sure. she, she wants to have sure. a good relationship with the father mm. as much as she wants to have a good relationship with the mother yeah. it is not your place as the other parent even if the things that you know about them mm. are true, mm. but it is not your place to talk ill of the other parent can't, to the child. Can't ever. Um, I always say that kids are, are very. They 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 they, they are sponges. Mm. Uh, they they mm. they sponge off the mm. things that, mm. and you confuse them when you do that because yes. remember, the experience that I may have with her father mm. is not the same experience she has yeah. with him. We may have had a failed uh, relationship. But he did not fail as a father to no. his daughter. We must always bear that in mind and protect the other parent. It's a big distinction to make that uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as the other co-parent. to go to, No, maybe, uh, let's say maybe they were a bad husband or bad uh, a wife. Mm. That doesn't mean they're a bad father. Yes. And to give them that, cre that credit. Ne? Yes. And when, and, and when you speak um, just positively about the other parent mm. to the child, you you if you even allow the child to speak up, to freely speak i'll make an example yeah. my my ex husband is is currently in a in a relationship sure and which is normal we move yeah, on yeah, i mean when, on. when 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 a marriage fails or a relationship fails and there's kids involved mm. we still move on we with our to. with our lives life goes on and uh, i could see that for the longest of time she would come back and would tell me, hey, mommy, I had fun. I was doing this. I was doing that. Mm. And when it comes to this woman in her life, she would hold back. Yeah. And I think it is very normal of, yeah. of a child to, to think they're betraying you. Yeah, she doesn't want to disappoint you. Yes, yeah. because in the child's mind, they want their parents to be together. They unfortunately but but, <laughs> yes. but but it's it's not the case yeah, now well, it's yeah, not well. going to happen mm. it, it, they, they, we are divorced yeah. that is the reality yeah. and uh speaking openly and honestly to the child to say me and your father are no longer together yeah. and, and age appropriate things because now Big word, yeah. lily being um okay she's 10 now mm. but previously when when we divorced me and her father she was let's say 5 when she realized what was happening sure sure there's no way I'm going to tell a five-year-old that this uh, uh, we are separated because... Uh, One, two, and three, yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, cannot no, do no, that. No, it's it, inappropriate. It, it, it is, and yeah. it, it leaves a, a mental scar to the Kaku, child. Mm. So it, 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 when you allow that communication mm. that is positive for the child, mm. you allow the child to freely speak to now Lily is able to call me and say, Hey mommy, mm. uh man yeah. did this for me. We yeah. had so much fun. Awesome. And for me it 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 it's a blessing as well. Yeah. Uh, because she found herself having such a good relationship with yeah. a woman who truly loves her. Wow. 
wow. you know, not wow. being there um, like I'd like to. Yeah. I, I'm okay with that because I know that she has a positive um, role model in her life of yeah. that of a mother. Of a mother, a mother yeah. figure. I'm not threatened in any way. I embrace the relationship that she has with, yeah. with her, her dad's yeah. um, partner. Uh, partner. Mm. And um, therefore, it allows her to speak and be free with yeah. me and to tell me the fun that they have together. Mm. You know, uh, I, I mean, the other time when she was around, we were doing our needs and she's like, oh, I usually do this with, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. And, and it, it, it comes down to being much whole. And it's a huge trust thing, ne? Yeah, it, it is. How did you escape the, the trap of being bitter, being jealous, and territorial? I don't want another woman next to my child. <laughs> Although you, you, you know it's impossible. Yeah. I mean, uh, whether they live together or not. But, this, you know, she is a figure, a present figure in the child's life. And going forward, you know, probably there will be marriage and whatever. Yeah. But how, how did you escape that, a trap that many women fall into? Of being jealous of jealous, that relationship. Jealous, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, 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 there's a lot mm. that comes with it. Yeah. Um, but I, so to jump in, I think it first started with you. Mm. Your own healing. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no? I, I was going to say Yeah. <laughs> you see, our minds are like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, which brings us to the yeah. importance of healing. Oh, uh, the, the importance of being realistic with yourself man. and the situation and what you have experienced and um, realizing that, you know what, it is over between me and yeah. this man. Yeah, 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 yeah. For whatever reason, yeah. we are no longer together. Right. In as much as we, we had a plan mm. of being together, raise our kids till death do us yeah, apart. Yeah. It, it did not happen yeah, like that. Yeah. And now here I am in this situation. And you realize that you are angry and bitter mm. when, the, you re, when you learn that your partner has now moved on. Yeah. It doesn't sit well with you. Eesh. For me, that was um, feedback okay. to me. To, say, to yourself. To myself. Yeah. To say, oh, okay. Meaning I have not yet healed. Something's, meaning, something's not right. Yeah. Yes. Meaning maybe I still need to forgive. I still yeah. need to... Be realistic about what is yeah. happening. And um, I, I went through all of that. Yeah. We will have also a podcast on yeah. just forgiving. Uh, yeah, the, the steps to healing and, and forgiving yeah. you. After you, marriage. After marriage. Yeah. I went through all of that. Yeah, um, I remember there was a time in my life when even on my Facebook, I mm. was so negative. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it, you're a bit... <laughs> I was very bitter. Yeah. I, I, I was. And, yeah. But then I, re you know, I realized that I'm tired of mm. being controlled because anything mm. that provokes negative emotions and mm. anger, it's, 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 it's again, I, I love using feedback. It's mm. feedback to say yes. you have not healed. Right. Heal. Do something. Do something about yeah. this. Yeah. And um, I, I did. Yeah. I, I went through the whole experience. And I think because I wanted to, I was fully aware of the fact that I am angry. I am bitter. Mm. This man is moving on with his life. And mm. this is my experience Chile, with him. Nah, whatever, whatever. We understand. Yeah. 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 And uh, I had to do this. And when you heal, truly, truly, when you heal, um, it benefits not just you, but a whole lot yeah. of other people around you. Yeah. 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 Because when you co-parent now mm. and you have healed, yeah. uh, you are able to speak positively about your ex yes. to your child. Yeah. And truly, yeah. like really yeah. speaking the truth about them. Yes. And even just talking the positive things that yeah. you know. About. I mean, at some point, this was somebody whom you, you loved. Um, because here's the thing, Nandi. No one is totally bad. Mm. No one is totally good. Yes. Okay. Mm. So even if the marriage didn't work out, it doesn't negate the fact that there are good things about this person. Yes. He's a good dad, good mom, good provider, good this, good that. There is good in the person. It's just that there was an issue mm. that was unresolvable then. Mm. That one, you, you can have your own feelings about that issue. Yes. But you must know that um, the good in a person, you can't forget it. You can't Absolutely. forget the good of the person. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And, and I, I realized that 
your moment of bitterness is when you have forgotten that. Hey, you only go I back. I put it goes, it goes out of your head, Shane. <laughs> ah, you like yes, in you, you only go what back. What was I thinking? <laughs> what did I see? <laughs> And you start to remember that I'm fun, like, and you, you start, oh, yes, they want me, eh? mm-hmm. and you like, hey, hey, and you start noticing, but that forehead is not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All those things that you never noticed before because of, mm-hmm. because of Peter's, but you, you, you have said something right to, to, to forgive. Yes. I think also to acknowledge. Uguti, divorce is never one-sided. Yes. Uh, no matter how you feel, it takes two to contribute to a failure mm. of a marriage. Mm. Um, mm. And that, that humility mm. helps you to process things better and also uh, helps your approach when you talk to your children about the other parent. Yes. You know. Absolutely. They are not the 100% bad guy or bad girl. Mm. Um, you also had a part to do. So now, if you are going to dish out to the child all the bad that your ex did, make sure you dish out your part as well. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. And also, I mean, listen, um, children don't need that. They don't. That's too heavy for a child. Mm. Too heavy, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot overburden a child by such mature and heavy raw issues as mm. abandabadala. That's adult content. Mm. Don't a, a child must always see their parent as the hero or heroine. And know what when you hold their parent uh, or the other parent in, in high regard. Yes. And uh, what I've noticed uh, from <sighs> counseling late teens and uh, you know young young students well, now, like in, in the age of 20 to, to around 25, the bitterness of this one parent who for all their lives was always the hero in it. Mm. The mo- let's say it's the mom. Mom always made herself the good person and was bitter against the dad. Dad was always the bad person. When they grow up, mm. they get to see the truth. Yeah, exactly. And now this thing is going to turn around on you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing I'm just saying. I, I, I think, you know, for me... <laughs> And also from personal experience with mm. my own parents, um, well, I am fortunate to have my parents been married for 45 years. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah, mine, mine have also been married for like, how long? 36 or 7 this year. 37 Imagine. years. And therefore, you had never experienced this co-parenting. Yeah, they, yeah, they've always been yeah. in, in the same You've household. You've never seen it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now you have, to, you have experienced it. Now you have to navigate your way through mm, mm. this experience, um, making sure that it is not negatively yes. impacting on your, on your, on your, on your, on your that's kids. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, and, and also, I, say that I think the very best safety blanket we could ever yeah. give our kids is respecting each other. Yeah. As, yeah. as the two parents, parents. Um, uh, it, it also allows the, the, the kids to be vulnerable, mm. to, be, to, to, to open up. Yeah. Uh, when children are aware or that I'm, 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 I'm hurt, um, yeah. my, my, my mother, my dad listens to me, yeah. uh, they respect each other. Yeah. They speak good of each other. Yeah. They don't even blame themselves, which is something that we come across a, a lot Eesh. where yeah. teens blame themselves yeah. for the separation yeah. or the breakup or the divorce of mm. their parents. Mm. They think, what did I do? That yeah. is so wrong because what they want, which is what we were talking about earlier, mm. they, they want their parents together. And mm. if there's bitterness and there's fighting and there's negative comments yeah. made about the other parent to yeah. the child, the child absorbs all of that like yeah, a sponge yeah. and they they blame themselves they think oh baby was i a, a bad girl or a bad mm, boy mm, did i do something or mm, is it me is mm. it you know they they blame themselves uh, absolutely, absolutely so, so respecting each other um speaking good of of each other mm. um uh, allowing um trying by all means in as much as the children are growing in mm. different households mm. but being uniform in, in how yeah. you discipline There have to be them. some uniform va- uh, values. Yes. And Thank you. Way, and standards. Yeah, yeah and standards. Mm. Uh, because, I mean, at some point we were together. We, 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 we had a common vision for how parenting is going to happen. Mm. 
Mm. Now, for as, as much as possible, that has to continue. Absolutely. Or between the two households. Yes. But Ndwasi, here's the other important thing that makes effective co-parenting work. Mm -hmm. And that is to frame a co-parenting plan. Yes. Whether mm -hmm. it's written down or not, but there have to be some agreements mm. to be made. Mm. Starting from what we mentioned earlier, would you, okay, this is the main household, Yavandwan. Yes. They stay here. Okay. Mm. When does daddy or mommy get visitation? Mm. Um, what is the routine mm. um, of, of these children? When is bedtime? Okay. Financial support. Uh, how much is it? When does it come? Okay. Uh, all these things we need to talk about. Them. Yes. And well, avoid deviating for the plan because once we do that, opportunities for conflict arise again. Mm, mm, mm. So a plan must be in there. That that helps this whole thing. Yeah. I mean, if, if separated or not, uh, you must now work as a team when it comes to raising uh, yeah. your child or yeah. your kids yeah. or your children. Um, so it, it matters not that now you are no longer together. Mm. What, what matters is that you have a, um, a uniform plan mm -hmm. on, on, on how you will raise these kids and you are working together as, as yeah. a team yeah. and the, the, there is just um, re respect yeah. of, of each other. Yeah. Um, there is... Okay, I don't know what else I want to say. <laughs> you'll cut that <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, respecting each other as co-parenting, mm. as co-parents, sets a good example for the children as well, right? Yes, absolutely. It shows them this is this is how we are supposed to live. Okay. Now, co-parenting -co also involves something very awkward. We have to have times where we are all spending time together. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, awkward. Very awkward. Can be awkward. It doesn't have to be, but it, I mean, uh, there you are. <laughs> you know what? Before we, we get there, yeah. let me just tell you that one of the things that were a force for me to mm. have a good uh, co parenting relationship yeah. with uh, Lily's father is my experience mm. that I had with him right. co parenting with his ex. And me being in the picture as the wife there. Yeah, yeah. As a stepmom now. As a stepmom yeah. now. And trying to, the, trying as much as possible mm, to mm. be this uh, available friend to this child. Right. Um, Try, without replacing the mom. Without replacing the mom. Yeah. And we, we, we had a good relationship. Yeah. Me and his firstborn son. Sure. Having that experience and now finding myself being the one who is now divorced with this yeah, child, with yeah, this man. And now yeah. there's a new lady in his life yeah. who is obviously a part of my, my, my daughter's life. Sure. I, I, the things that I wanted for myself mm. then when I was in her position, yeah. being married to him, I thought, you know what? Let me give this woman uh, yeah. these things. Um, even she must know that I support yeah. her relationship with my daughter. Yes, you're not against it. I'm yeah. not against it mm. and that I trust her and I trust them as, mm. a, as a couple mm. where my daughter is involved. Absolutely. I trust her as a mother figure uh, around my child mm. so that she can also be free. Uh, yeah. and, they, and I trust her as, as also a mother to somebody. Sure, sure, um, sure. And I trust her to, to just be that mother to my daughter yeah. as well. And mean, I, I could see that they have a, a very good relationship, uh, the two of them. Mm. And 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 now it's, it's it's it excites her to drop me a text or yeah, a message yeah. or even to send me pictures. Yeah. Or when she's around, she shows me pictures. Me and Sister Spandani, yeah, yeah, we yeah. went, we did this. You know, I That's love good it. Stuff, yeah, man. That's then, healthy. That's exactly. healthy. Exactly. And I get to experience her as as just her mm. without her mm. trying because these things they allow our kids to be kids. Yes. You know, anything where a child has to now adult become mm. an adult. Is not fair on the child uh, mm. when a child has to think about eh, mommy may not like the fact that i have so much fun with my dad's partner yeah, yeah. or daddy may not like the fact that i have so much fun with my mom's partner sure, sure. it means that we we our kids become adults um 
too soon. We, we put them in a very mm. tight position. Yes, yes. That is very unfair for them. Yeah, and so I did not want my child to go through they that. They don't need that. You know, being selfless when it comes to your yeah. kids' needs mm. Um, mm. and emotions. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. the other thing, <laughs> don't use the child oh. as a spy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Don't use the child as a spy to keep track of your ex. When Zani, Sangana, nobody, what are they doing? What are they doing? This and that, 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 that is very unhealthy. It's, in, it's unhealthy. It's very it's immature. Immature. And even the kids see it. Ah, they and see it. Exactly what you've just said. Can I just repeat it? Exactly. Do not use your child as a spy. To spy on your on your ex. Amen. Do not do that. Right. Kids know about it. Yeah. They see it. It's very uncomfortable. They just do not know how to tell you that mm, mm. mommy or daddy, what you're doing is wrong. wrong. It puts them in a very yeah. uncomfortable position. Yeah. Don't do that, my also, you, you are teaching your child just bad character. Yeah. To be to be sneaky, to be sly. And this thing is gonna come out. It will. This thing is gonna come out. Mm. And when it does come out, you are going to unnecessarily cause conflict again now mm. in this whole setup that you're trying to make work. Mm. Don't use them as a spy and don't use your children as a weapon also mm. against your ex and against their new partner. Mm. Mm. I, and don't make them feel I, guilty for, for, for having a good relationship with, with, yeah. with your partner. Encourage it. Current, exactly. Yeah. You know, Encourage uh, it. Yeah. Allow kids to be kids. Yeah. And so there are some practical things that we have to always talk about like uh that have to be part of our parenting plan mm. practical things mm. uh, that number one you have to agree on your children's spiritual upbringing yes good tea. this is what we believe in we go to church mm. we do this we do that we we have to have that in agreement so that where it whichever household the child is at mm. the other parent has got confidence so good tea, umdana is being brought up spiritually in a healthy environment yes and according to what we've agreed on mm. then we have to agree on things like healthcare. care mm. uh, who's the family doctor what is the procedure if there's an, uh, is an emergency, emergency. Uh, all of those things Healthcare. care um, yes. we have to uh, decide on schooling yes we have to agree this is the kind of school we want uh, Mdana goes there and the teachers and the principals must know both parents mm. And the teachers must know that there is a situation of divorce. Yes. But both parents are involved. So that one day, if the other parent is picking up the child and it's not the other one, mm. there's not going to be a problem. Mm. Okay. It also helps the teachers in understanding certain behaviors of the children to know that they are coming from a divorced family. Mm. Right? Then other things can be like, uh, oh, it's a big one, setting guidelines for internet and social media use. Yeah, it's a big one, that one. <laughs> Once the child gets to 10, mm -hmm. then they're demanding cell phones. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what's the and right Wi -Fi age. Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, I don't, even know, I don't even know what's the right age to give a child a cell phone. I, I, I don't know. I think 10, my eldest son is, 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 is on that level. Now, let me give you an example of communication. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I got a new cell phone, and I wanted to give my 10-year-old and my old cell phone. Okay. So he has a phone. Because he likes playing games on the phone as well, but also to start introducing him to being able to communicate. Mm. And uh, if there's an emergency as well, we know that he's reachable and he can communicate. That's what I was thinking in my head. Mm. Then I, I, I didn't give my son the phone. Mm. I spoke to the mom first. Yes. But I'm thinking mm. of doing this. doing this and this and this. And my, my, my idea was very good. And then she brought up something I didn't think of. Just said, listen, uh, Junior seems to be struggling in some things at school. Mm. Instead of just giving him the phone, which, number one, might be a distraction to the studies. Mm. Uh, but number two, let's give it to him as a reward oh, okay. for doing better mm. and performing well at school. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah, wow, good idea. I didn't think of this. Mm. And I suspended that. I, I told you, and I'd listen, there's a phone installed for you, mm. but you got to do it at school. Mm. But you, saw, you see the value of communicating. Yes. I could have given the phone, and then he goes back home and says, Mommy, I've got a phone. <laughs> now it's difficult for her. Mm. She's yeah. put in a tough position now. 
you know, does she now take away the phone? When's that? When's that? And if she takes away the phone, I'm going to be upset. Mm. That's my gift to the child. Mm. But we had to talk about it. So that's a, that's a, the, when our internet and social media now is the reality, guys. Mm. That's maturity. Man. That was very yeah. mature how you guys handled yeah, that, we had that to. cell phone. Yeah. Uh, and, and you speaking to her first. Yeah, yeah. Before gifting Junior the cell phone. Yeah. And even Junior, you know, you know, kids, uh, there's something about kids. Kids, um, they are aware when you are not communicating well, yeah, when, when, not, when there is yeah. no effective yes. communication between the two of you. They know very well. And sometimes they can even take advantage of that. Yeah, they because can. they know about, oh, okay, these two are, 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 mm, are mm, not, mm, mm, they are mm. fighting, you know. Yeah. They don't communicate well, yeah. and they can take advantage of yeah. that. So it, it's good because even Junior is aware now. Now he's aware, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it goes for even events, like parties that they're invited to. Mm. She would tell me that hey, there's a, a party invitation, mm. and I would know that uh, children are at this place, this place, and a myriad of other things. Yes. We just, we just, we just got to communicate. Mm. Right. And then there's um, starting um, savings plan for education. Yes part of the co-parenting plan you know you are gonna do that if you're still together so it shouldn't be the responsibility of one parent mm. let it be spoken about and be part of budgeting and all of that then vac vacations mm. and traveling mm. when do they visit Gogo and Mkulu they, 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 they need to know um, and uh, pets are the children gonna have pets or not mm. Are they ready to have a pet or not? You gotta talk about such things. Absolutely everything, <laughs> eh? Every every <laughs> local, you know. And then in, in terms of my curfew, mm. bedtime and curfew, meaning when are you coming back home? Mm. You can go and play with your friends uh, in the park or the streets, but when are you coming back home? But also, if they want a night out to go to the movies with their friends, when are you coming back home? What's mm. the what's the case? Those things must be consistent, okay. you know. Okay, if I'm listening to you well, does it? I guess these things uh, they they also go with age. Um, yes. How old is this child? Yes. And I guess this plan needs to be reviewed after some time. Some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because then you've got another issue about alcohol usage. Mm. Uh, these teenagers, they drink. Are uh, are they gonna be allowed to drink when they're with uh, at one parent's house? And then. And then Ngapa. There's one parent who's saying no drinking, no smoking, but one parent is allowing it. Those kind of things. It happens in non-Christian homes and in Christian in homes. Christians, yeah. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. Someone says, oh, this is supposed to be a Christian podcast. Uh, why are you talking about alcohol? It's a reality, guys. These it's are the reality. things that you're not going to hear about in church. Mm. <laughs> but you've got to talk about them. It's real. Mm. And when parents see one spouse drinking, um, they can think, okay, it's, it's okay for me as well. Yeah. Like in my case, I take my wine. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, me too. I remember the me first too. time, the first time Lily saw me taking wine, she was like, oh! So shocked, man. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to have an, an explanation or a discussion about, mommy. why is it okay for mommy? Why is it not okay for me? Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I explained it. Um, yeah. And, I, and, and she'll say to me, mommy, well, let's do this video now. Now yeah. that she knows that mommy takes it away, she's like, yeah. let's do this video, mommy. Eh, you know what? You you need, you need, um, what kind of, how does she put it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, she's yeah. not like she's such a public child. <laughs> no, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years old, and she's so expressive. That's she is. And, and I made her realize because if, you know, I made her know and mm. to understand what alcohol mm. is and mm. the reason why I take wine, mm. and uh, which which brings me to modeling, um, yes. being that which you 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 aspire for your kids to be. That yeah. is yeah. Being, just being a good person. Yeah, yeah. Being a good person, right. being a reliable person, being yeah. an honest person, because your kids are, are watching. Absolutely. Um. So now coming back to this wine. Just a glass of wine is, mm. is good for me. Yeah. And she she notices that, oh, okay, nothing happens. Because mm. I, I don't know what she had in mind yeah. uh, when it yeah. comes to alcohol. But I could see that she's very judgmental. I mean, the first time she saw it. <laughs> and, and one yeah. thing I did not want for her to do was to protect me. Because, yes, you know, the yes, first thing yes. she said, she said to me, don't worry, I'm not going to tell Baba that yeah, you take wine. Yeah, yeah. Can you see it's putting a child 
in a position of and that's a that, that's a teachable moment right mm. there to say no 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 no, no. that's mm. not your responsibility yes. to protect me. yeah 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 uh, yeah. yeah, and and now coming back to spirituality, having um, agreeing on that, mm. this particular Sunday, she's with me, and it's a Sunday, mm. and her father calls her and asks her, um, it is after, it is in the afternoon sure. that Sunday. Did you go to church?" And she says, she looks at me, and she, I can see she wants to know what to what say. To say. Yeah, yeah. And I say to her, "I just leave the room." Mm. Ne? And then I hear that she's saying, eh, I did not go because I woke up late. Mm. And I went went back to the room and I said to her, Lily, be honest. Tell your father <laughs> the truth. That yeah. The reason why you did not go to yeah, church. Just yeah. tell him the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know? And she was like, oh, well, we did not go to church because mommy didn't feel like it. <laughs> and But we did have um, our own yeah. lesson here. Yeah, in, in the house. Yeah, in the house. And, she, and he was like, oh, okay, did you? Tell me about it. I was like, tell him what we spoke about. Tell him what you... Awesome, guys. Yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's because, also mature. Because I'm teaching my child the importance of going to church. Yes. But also, she must know that this is a personal relationship yes. that she has yes, with yes, God. Yes, yes, and yes. therefore, she must not always rely on she must be in church. Mm. And also, she must not do it because somebody else is... is yes. It, 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 it's a must. She's yeah. being pushed to this. She, she must want it. She must be drawn to it. You know, yeah. And the previous night we had gone to the movies and we came back yeah. late. And I was like, you know what, Lily, I am tired and therefore I'm not going to church tomorrow. Mm, mm. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, oh, well, I'm also not going. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know? right, but right. she depends on me. Of anyway, course, to get anyway. There. Yeah. And then I had to explain to her uh, that is why I, I make it a point that I cultivate the culture of having that personal relationship yes, uh, yes, with yes, God. Yes, Something yes. that her father does as well. Yeah. And him being a, a, a pastor means yes. that they go to church together of course, yeah. every Sunday yeah. and this and She's that. She's part of that. She's yeah. part of that. Yeah. And for me, I also wanted to understand that when, you, when, when you're when tired, you are tired and, you're, and it does not make you less yeah, um, of a child of, of God, of a child of God yeah, when you yeah. did not go to church. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I told her, I, I even said to her, Lily, um, don't do that again. Yeah. Uh, when your father asks you a question, be honest. Just uh, say it. Just yeah. say it. Mm. You know, don't say why. I even asked you, what is the reason you're saying that you will not tell Papa that mm. I take uh, mm. wine? Mm. And she's like, ah. And she did not want to mm. say. Do you want to say? Yeah. Shame. She didn't want to say. And, I, and I said to her, no, it's okay. He knows. I said, mm. he knows. He knows mm. that I take wine. Mm. Uh, he knows it is a personal um, personal decision. Decision, and if he is not taking it, it's also his personal decision. A topic for another episode, Nefut. Ne? <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> wow, wow. That, that, that's awesome. For an example, for for me in our setup, um, the kids know that they must pray for food before they eat it, and so at mommy's house and at daddy's house, they take turns. Oh, Who, that is Who's awesome. praying for food? Even Esitle, the youngest one, my baby girl. Now he was a Musa. Hey, Father God, thank you for Aww. the food. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And mm. it's, it's so cute to hear and they take turns. Second thing, we pray over them. Mm. Pray. It's part of the tucking in process when they go to bed. Mm. We pray for them uh, uh, together. Mm. Uh, all three of them, they come and then we pray. And now it is so much ingrained in them. They don't want to sleep until you've prayed. You know, mm. uh, I remember at some point uh, there was one day I took them to my. I had a speaking engagement in my hometown uh, recently, traveled with them to Coco's house, we slept there. And you know, sometimes you come late from these things, they refuse to go to bed. Coco was like, Go sleep, daddy mm. is working. Go sleep. And they're like, No, we're waiting for daddy. I'm and, afraid they, for us. and they didn't even want to um, uh, uh, chat or play when I came. Mm. Daddy, please come pray. We want to go to bed. Then we came, we prayed together. You know, and I, I know mommy does that as well, mm. you know. And and funny story that they, they have a problem when you, if you pray, and you don't end the prayer with, in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> if you say in Jesus' name mm. or whatever, no, it has to be the in mighty, the mighty name of, of Jesus. Jesus. It's the cutest thing. They're so adamant. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It's, 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 so now. Well done. Yeah, thanks. But mm. I think. Now, I think the next phase is now to start teaching them how to pray for themselves when they go to bed. Yes. You know. Uh, and and, and uh, reading the word to our children is so important. It is. Reading the Bible. So, characters like Moses and David and Abraham 
are, are familiar people in their minds and in their tongues. Mm -hmm. It brings us to another point, Duguti. The responsibility of pastoring our children, mm -hmm. we shouldn't give it to the church. We shouldn't hand it over completely to children's ministry, to the church. Mm -hmm. We are the fundamental and the first church, mm -hmm. the home, the first church that children need to encounter. So, guys, there's a lot uh, that we can discuss and talk about. Uh, but our time has run out, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts about co-parenting and your experiences with co-parenting. And so if you're on uh, YouTube, please, in the comments section, let us know how, is, how it's going for you. Um, if you're listening on Spotify, listen, there's a comment section right there as well. Tell us, write to us as well. Mm -hmm. the, our email address is going to come up on the screen right now, uh, which is hello at the unchristian podcast.co.za write to us let us know your experiences and other topics that you think we need to talk about we are welcome to your feedback mm. and hearing also what you want to hear from the podcast and don't forget to subscribe as well and follow us follow like <laughs> all of it do it so that you know when there's when there's a new uh, episode coming up and uh, yeah this platform is growing our community with you we are growing together mm. yeah and thank you guys for, for, for joining us for this episode. I, I just pray and, and I hope that you've taken something from it yeah. and that you will co-parent with, with the other parent. Yeah. I don't want to say ex, remember there, there are situations so where things, they yeah. were never together. Yeah, yeah. Effectively, uh, and realize that it's for the benefit of the child. It is not about you. Mm. We want to raise uh, strong um, kids mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and it means we should mature yeah. and uh, put them first. Uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. And we love you. Thank you, guys. We're out. Bye. <laughs>